We're gonna need a 3D asset. No, be original. We're gonna make a 3D asset? Well done, you're not lazy. Start by adding in a cylinder and then lower the vertices. Go into the edit mode and start extruding and moving these vertices. And of course, make sure those little square friends are on. We can now rename the cylinder and then duplicate it. Add another cylinder for the glass, and then guess what? You can do the exact same thing. Grab the edge loop tool and start fixing up those shapes. Now let's talk about balls. Meta balls. Add in some meta balls and scale them down. Make a collection and then duplicate those balls. See, look how those balls move. <laughs> you can animate the first ball's position by adding a keyframe and then going into the graph editor. From there, select the keyframe and then add a noise. We can change the scale, strength and offset until we're happy. Nice! You're an expert in moving balls. Repeat for as many axes as you want. You want to make it look like it's going up and down and moving all over the place. Time to create some more balls, but easier. Add in an empty and then repeat the same position effects we did before. Now we can add in a couple more balls and then parent them to the null. Now we have a group. A group of balls. I still recommend that you animate those balls to give it some variety. Now we can duplicate that collection and change the offset and the phase. You make the balls larger or smaller, there's nothing like some diversity. We love some diverse balls. Jump into the shading editor and then click on the metal balls group and select new material. From there we can adjust the base color, which is whatever you want. The subsurface color, the color that will be inside the balls. The subsurface level, lower the roughness and the specular, and also add a small amount of emission. Next, we can add in a light source and change it to a disc so we can put it right underneath those balls. Well, I want to make them shine, you know? Ooh, la, la. What's that? You like an easier way? Find a four hour video of a lava lamp online and then chuck it into DaVinci Resolve because that's what we're using because Premiere absolutely Use the clip to make a new comp. Right click and then create a new Fusion clip. In the Fusion tab, add in a polygon and create a rough mask. Plug that polygon mask into the mask input of our layer and we can also add in a blur in between. Jump back in a blender and then select your glass and make it a wireframe model. Next we can change the preview mode to our render mode. Now this is really important, you have to enable this add-on to be able to import the image as a plane. Go into preferences, add-ons and make sure import images as planes is on. Next press F3 to search up the same effect, we can import our alpha lava lamp video. Ooh, wiggly. Rotate the plane into the right position. It may help to add some edge loops so you can stretch the image out a little bit, but be very careful because it can get really messy real quick. We can also add in a HDRI image in the shading tab. Search up an environment texture and add it as our HDRI instead of the principled BDFS. Now I'm not gonna explain this, but we can add in a very basic metal and glass texture. Again, check the description, they're very basic textures. Next we need to make our video texture glow. Go into the texture, link the video to the emission tab and adjust to your liking. Your lava lamp is complete. Woo! Lava lamp. Now this is a more realistic version as it's from an actual lava lamp but just make sure you only use select angles because you can get really messy real quick. 